Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to this show, which I still haven't named because I'm recording all these back to back to back. Um, but if you have a suggestion for a name for the show, feel free to let me know down below. It doesn't mean I'll accept it or anything, but if if it is, if it's a good one, <laughs> you know, I, I will definitely entertain that idea. I just, I haven't really sat down and thought about this. I came up with this idea right before I started recording. I was actually just got home and I uh, was walking my dog. And after we walked, I was like, you know, I really should do something with Silent Hill because I love that franchise and I haven't got to replay a lot of them because I don't, the only games I own is the two and three remaster, which were terrible. In my opinion, the three one's not as bad as two, but it's still pretty bad in some regards. And it, it doesn't feel like playing the original. Um, and then I have Homecoming and I don't own any of the other ones. And it's because I don't own any of the consoles that those other ones were on. So that's one thing Konami could really, you know, do uh, do for us as fans while we're waiting for these new games is I would love for them to release like one, two, three, and four. Um, but I think there was like, I don't know, they made some BS about assets and how they can't rebuild stuff and everything. So, or maybe it's not BS, maybe that's the truth and they, they can't do it. Um, but I know fans out there seem to make their own versions of a lot of games. So, hey, hire some of them and see if you can find ways to give us, you know, some kind of port or or just the original versions in some way, um, you know, to download as, as digital downloads for like 10 bucks a piece or something. Um, I would happily pay 10, 20 bucks for Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4 um, on the new new consoles for sure in the digital stores. I would absolutely do that. Um, but I think you can get them, maybe some of them on Steam too. So I don't know, maybe at some point I'll just finally get a, a, a PC where I can game and play them on there. Uh, so since I can't revisit that world a lot though, um, I tend to just watch people online play the game and stream them. And I thought that was really cool because that's kind of what Ascension, where it came from. One of the makers of this game, because you got uh, Bad Robot Gaming is part of this. Um, DJ uh, something, there's like a couple different companies that are working on this game. And uh, and all of them were talking about how they were, you know, or one of them, one of the guys was like, hey, you know, I just like to watch people stream Silent Hill. And I like that interactiveness because they get scared, their audience gets scared, there's their people talking, there's some people explaining things like what the monsters are and stuff. And he said he liked that interaction so much from himself watching streamers play the game that it helped him kind of come up with the idea for Ascension. So Ascension, we literally got very little. We saw some text balloons of people communicating with each other, either people watching or whatever the case is. And then you saw this monster, which is probably their version of like a red pyramid. So that already doesn't excite me too much. But there's some kind of monster um, who's like in charge and he's got like a scepter and his face is like is a monster face, you know, hidden in shadow. And uh, and he looks very imposing and towering. And I guess what this is, is it's not it's a game, but not a game. It's like an interactive experience where people can all tune in and watch. And I guess in some way affect the story and whatever decisions you make that's it there's no reset button that's what they kept saying whatever that means like i guess you just you can't restart this story the story is going to play one time you can interact with it and then it's done i guess once the story ends it ends and however it ends you know if you if you screw it up and you get the bad ending that's just how it is i don't know or if the story ends and then you can go back and start over it's like hey there's no reset but there is replay um that and make different choices you know that's cool too i don't know how exactly this is going to work because we don't really know what it is everyone was so freaking vague <laughs> they said it's going to go live in 2023 so that's great we're less than a year away to check out and see what it is and they said more news will be coming out about it soon but as of this moment like we literally just jj abrams his company's involved he put out a quote saying like yeah this is going to be different uh but it's going to keep in tone with the world of silent hill we were we're working really hard to create that tone so the creative director the art director people were coming out and talking about this but being very vague and they were just saying all we can say is it's going to be a communal experience it's going to be something you you kind of don't want to do solo um you want to have other people involved because they compared it to being in a movie theater and seeing scary movies and how fun that is when everyone jumps or screams and it's like and and how much fun i guess this guy has watching streamers play the game get freaked out and have interactions with their their audience because of it so i'm i'm really curious to see what the heck this is going to be <laughs> i'm just uh i know nothing more than what i just said to you and that like i said they said a bunch of nice fancy stuff 
but they didn't really tell you what uh, they were just telling you how excited they were to be part of silent hill and that they're you know they can't wait to bring us more information when the time is right but as of right now it's all we know is that it's a very interactive story driven silent hill experience that is going to require the input of multiple people i think even one of the people making this game is a company that did dead by daylight um so there's like a lot of people that have their hands in this one and i could be if i'm wrong about that let me know because i know they're involved in one of these games i thought it was this one but if i'm wrong let me know in the comments um but it, it this sounds like it has four production crews on it and uh and, and makers and developers and stuff so it sounds like it's going to be um you know a lot of people working hard to bring the world of silent hill to us in a new way whatever that means so uh yeah if you have any speculations or theories let me know down below because i don't I, I can think of there was like a game that came out a year or two ago called erica and it was a, a interactive movie that you just watched and you you know you know would comment or make you there would be little polls or multiple choices of like a choose your own adventure and you get to choose how the story went that's what i'm thinking but i could be way off you know i hope it is a game that you do play and that you can have a solo experience with if you want to but i'm all for new something new that you have to have an audience for that could be cool too because that's a unique experience and i wouldn't mind having that with silent hill because like i said if you're going to do the psychological terror horror thing that they seem to just latch on to you know and just do over and over and over um doing something like this could could change the gameplay and at least make that concept feel new um, or at least different you know uh so fingers crossed so uh, silent hill ascension what do you think of it you know what is your what is your i guess speculation on it what do you think it'll be based on what little information we have on it i'd love to know down below and as always we'll keep talking down there and then the next video we're going to talk about silent hill f that'll be the last game we talk about and then in episode five we'll get into return of silent hill the movie and i will probably film that another night because pretty soon i'm going to be going here to play gotham knights for a little bit before i go to bed because uh, that is dropping in like 10 minutes so uh, thank you so much for watching the show i will put gotham knights footage if i play that game i'm going to live stream it on twitch but i'll try to chop it up and maybe i'll you know, upload them here just to have them as an archive in case you guys want to check them out. You know, you'll see those in the coming week for sure. So uh, again, let me know down below. We'll keep talking down there about Silent Hill Ascension. Thanks so much. I will see you all next time in the next video with Silent Hill F and I will see you in Silent Hill itself. Peace.